Hi, I'm Julie Freeman and I'm here at the TED conference in 2013. I'm here to talk about the uh, Data as Culture Data Driven Art exhibition that I curated for the Open Data Institute in the UK. So the artworks range from being screen based pieces which is a scientific data visualisation looking at magnetic storm data and turning it into a, a, a black and white sound and audio uh, visual and audio piece. There's another piece of work that is a hacked Vengin machine that looks at BBC news feeds. There's another piece of work that is, uses NASA um, research, which has collated 4,000 years of solar eclipse data and draws ephemeral laser-based uh, sketches. And there's a piece of work that is actually a painting, a physical painting in the space, and it uses um, a series of processed, cel cel processed cellular automata works uh, to create this final piece in the space which is only viewable properly when you hold up a piece of digital technology to view it through. And there's five other works as well. All of the works are detailed in this catalogue, Data as Culture, which is available in the TED bookstore. And we're going to take you through some of the works in the book. So this is a piece of work called Metrography by um, Benedict Gross and Bertrand Clerk, and what they've done is they've taken the London Underground app map and merged it with a real geographic map of London. So what you're seeing is actually a fake, um, a fake cartography. They talk about how we understand maps in a particular way, but this is a, f a false map, but because people understand London by the London Underground map, you can see that the, the geographic realities are completely specious, they're completely false. So this is a, a visualisation work by Semiconductor, it's called 20 Hertz, and this piece takes is a five minute um, 3D animation with a soundtrack, and this takes all um, geomagnetic storm data from Canada, and they've, done, they've taken the audio file from that storm data, which was sonified by a scientist, and they created this amazing elemental uh, animation that goes with it, and when you watch it, it feels very much like you're being sucked into some kind of you know, volcanic, weird volcanic lava. So this piece of work is a, is a wall-based kinetic artwork. And what you're seeing here is, is a, an ephemeral arc drawn by a laser pen with a, that represents a solar eclipse with the azimuth and then the, the, the point of the sun. And this changes every couple of minutes and it draws an eclipse that spans from around about um, 2,000... BCE to 2000 AD. The nice thing about this is when it sketches, it does it on a um, special photochromic ink, so the solar eclipse that it draws will be there for maybe a couple of seconds, and then when you look again, it's completely vanished in time for the next one to be drawn. And at the front of the book is a bit of an essay and an introduction by the curator, which is me, Julie Freeman, and Sophie McDonald from MizTech. 